Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's video is going to be super fast but super helpful. What it's about is how to repair a small radiator leak on a vehicle. Most modern vehicles have aluminum coat radiators with plastic tanks and a gasket seals both parts. We picked up this Isuzu slightly over a month ago. It has a little over 200,000 miles. A week ago when I was driving it, I noticed on the right hand side there was a puddle of coolant and it was coming from around the gasket that seals both parts. So I don't want to put a lot of money into this vehicle and I figured, hey, this is a good opportunity to try a different radiator stop leak. I've tried a few in the past. So I chose this one and it did the job. It's over a week now since I put it in and no leaks. I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can see the product. I'm going to show you what it was leaking, how much the product it took. And I drove it to Phoenix three times so far and the weather was about 95 degrees, so kind of warm and no leaks. Very cool. So let's bring the camera close so you can see that and where it was leaking. So here's the product I use. Cooling system repair made by Bars Leak. It's a two part product and I didn't use that much. Let's see if I can tilt this. You can see how much I use Wait, if I tilt it like that. So I would say, so I use about this much from here to here. And that was enough to repair the leak that this radiator had. And the reason why I chose this product is because it has water pump loop, corrosion inhibitor, and a heat transfer agent. So those right there are good for your cooling system overall. Has nothing to do with the leak, but it's something to protect the cooling system. So I like that part. And then obviously here are your sealing agents, carbon fiber sealer, leak sealing liquid, and stub leak treatment. I'm glad that I didn't have to use a lot of it, because if you put too much of any stub leak on your system, it could clog your heater core. I mean, think about it. If it's going to seal leaks, it's going to affect other areas. So you don't want to overdo it. So the fact that I used very little and it did the job is really great. And that's why I decided to do the video. A week after I used it knowing that there are no leaks whatsoever and it fixed it and it hasn't created any other issues of any kind so let me show you where the leak was so this is the right hand side of the radiator passenger side and this is where the leak was you can see where the traces of coolant were Let's see if I can get you good vision anymore is just kind of wider shades on the plastic tank and you can see a little bit more right here where the hose or the little radiator hose is it, it came down around it at first I thought it was the hose that it was loose but when I looked it up closer I realized that no it wasn't it was the gasket and think about it with the edge and the heat the gasket which is made out of rubber is like a big o-ring in between both parts, the tank and the core, it gets hard over time. So the agents on the stop leak that I put in helped the gasket and it sealed it. So no more leak. And then look, look, the ground is dry. So that's why I chose to do the video because the product actually did the job. And I didn't have to buy a new radiator, at least not for now. And I can spend money on fixing other things on this vehicle that may come up. And there you have it. Now you know what product to use to repair a small radiator leak on a vehicle. Thanks for watching. See you next time.